In Vray 2022.2, we added several new features, which helps you in your visualization process to get more efficient. We improved our streaming app and added a scroll bar to the UI. This indicates off-screen options and helps getting a better orientation. Additionally, you can now join or create a collaboration session. So you can use your mobile device, for example, and join a session from there. You will see all avatars of your team within the scene now, and they can see you as well. I also can now switch to another participant's view. These additions give you so much more freedom in taking part on collaborations. For a better performance monitoring, you can now enable a counter for the frames per second. For VR, we added now a new option, which lets you use the camera height as the VR ground plane. With this option, you can mimic different personas' heights. Just enable the option in the camera editor, set your desired height and create the viewpoint. Now you can access this viewpoint in VR, which brings you instantly into another persona's height and you can explore the scene from there. For example, when setting a camera height to minus 200, I will be 200 mm shorter in VR then. The Acid Installer brings now multiple new great acid materials, such as asphalt, clay, used plastic or concrete and a ton more. You can access them by downloading and installing the separate VRED Acid Installer. Now you can access them from the Asset Manager and drag them into the scene. See a complete list of the new materials on the documentation. When creating own material assets, we have added now an option within the preferences, which lets you write textures of the material as an external separate file instead of inlining them within the OSB file. This saves disk space massively, as the inline textures in the OSB file would normally be stored uncompressed compared to the external one. When talking about textures, we also added a new option in the normal map area. You can now flip the normal textures in U and V direction separately. Now you don't need to get back to an image editing software in order to fix wrong normal textures. Also for textures and for saving the video card's memory, you can now enable OpenGL texture compression and clear GPU memory. This will be very helpful for users who don't have much video memory. Last but not least, we added a new AI-driven super sampling, DLSS, from NVIDIA. This method uses an AI-based render technology, which improves the graphic performance. It uses the AI to increase frame rates or image quality. Please visit NVIDIA's website for more information. In VRED, simply go to Real-Time Antializing, Deep Learning, Super Sampling. Here you can set five different presets in order to optimize the scene to your needs. As you see here, I'm reaching a much higher frame rate now when enabling the DLSS in the ray tracing mode. And this works perfectly in OpenGL as well. This speeds up my visualization workflow massively and gives me more creative freedom. Thanks for watching the video.